Hey everybody, I'm Carmen Zajcek and uh, my husband, Mark Anderson. We're coming to you from the Madison, Wisconsin area, a small town called the Forest. We do uh, one of a kind, one at a time. And it's just Mark and I, we don't hire staff, we don't hire, we don't have a big production line. We used to call them earth bowls, uh, but we've grown into something bigger and better now. They are made uh, for the most part with an air-dried clay-like material on the bottom. We use a slab pottery technique, so I flatten it out and build it up in layers. And as I build it up in layers, we use some forms. Um, and as the forms are built up, I will inlay various materials in. The pieces dry about two or three days. Um, take them out, and then I do all the finishing work on it. These are our newest pieces. Um, this is actually the piece that Mark actually designed. Just aluminum cut, and then there's an LED puck light in it, right? Yeah, the, the metal work. We're, we're keeping old school copper smithing alive. So we work strictly with hand shears when we cut the copper, and then all the work is done strictly doing using hammers and punches. No machinery involved. Um, any of the copper work that you see is all done very old school. It takes a lot of time, to, you know, doing hammers and punches and over and over again to create the, um, the cups that you see in the other work that we do. We find other natural pieces in the, in the woods that we incorporate into uh, the, uh, the artwork. And we've also done a little bit of grapevine. We work with that. And then there are also some, some uh, live edge. We are pretty serious about it and that we don't see it as a hobby. Uh, we do it as a career because some people do it and they think, well, let's go to Florida and let's do a couple of shows and da 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 da. And we do about how many do we do a year? Or supposed to be doing a year? Just under 30. And so a lot of people are saying, well, we'll just do more online presence and that's okay. But our work is just, people think, oh, it must take a, a, a crane to lift it. And it's not at all. It's a, it's a lot lighter than what you might think. And so you have to touch it. You have to feel it and smell it or whatever. I know I talked to a few friends and they said, they have ideas about some new pieces or a different technique or something they may want to try out on that they can afford the time to play with something. But it's just scary, crazy. Um, some of it is good. Um, like Mark said, we've been able to explore different areas that we never thought we would. But you can experiment. You can have fun with it because now is the time. And uh, it's just really a hopeful thing that this will come to an end. And uh, we don't know when, uh, but we're still, there's still availability. People can still talk to us. Uh, we're uh, just a click away. Um, it's not the same, but it's something that it would be interesting to keep trying. We loved Omaha and half. This is our, what, Here. eighth year doing this, but we've done this show six years or so, something like that. So you can feel the community pull together. Um, other places do that too, but I don't know if it's just because we've gotten to know more people. They seem to be friendly and easy to talk with. And uh, I don't know what it is, but we're just, for some reason, we can, we feel at home when we're in Omaha, when the other places, well, you know, they're still nice um, and they're good people there too. But for some reason, there's something about the Omaha area or the Nebraska people that they love the contemporary as much as the modern. And they wanted something new and fresh. And it was just like, oh, uh, my first thought was cornfields. And what about that? can we bring and we aren't bringing that at all but I think the idea that it feels more organic and soft contemporary people love that people were buying it for their lofts and for their new homes or their offices art in your home makes you feel good um, you look at a piece of artwork and you know that okay it took me some time to think about it, it wasn't just a quick buy and every time I look at that piece of artwork I feel good about it and, and, and it brings happiness into the homes of a lot of people.
like to add lastly here is give a thanks, big thanks to all the nurses and the doctors uh, working so hard to take care of all of us in this uh, time of need.